Hi, and welcome to Dom's Rad Physics Blog, Podcast Edition. I am your host, Dominic, and I'm going to take you on a journey through the behavior and principles of sound. Throughout these last two terms in Mr. Welty's honors physics class, I have have explored the ins and outs of how all this stuff works. Though my focus has definitely evolved over the course of my research, I have focused mainly on resonance and natural frequencies. I was inspired to delve into the vast topic of sound due to my love of driving my key of soul while blasting music. I love the wind on my face while the musical vibrations penetrate my soul. Wow, that got deep. And that also got me thinking, why does that happen? First of all, sound travels longitudinally. Also, the distance between the compressions and rarefactions determines the wavelength of the sound wave. Finally, the frequency of the longitudinal waves determine the pitch. A low frequency results in a low pitch. And conversely, a high frequency results in a high pitch. On average, a person can hear sounds ranging between 20 and 20,000 hertz. Frequency can sometimes be confused with the volume of the sound, but in fact, loudness is due to the amplitude, not the frequency. To amplify a sound, also known as increasing its amplitude, more energy is needed. For example, when a stylus rests in the grooves of of a vinyl record, it vibrates with very small movements. These movements are turned into small electrical impulses and sent to the amplifier, where the small electrical currents are made larger and sent to the loudspeaker system, where they are then converted into much larger vibrations, thus creating a louder sound. So, we now know what determines pitch, loudness, and how sounds are amplified. Pretty cool, right? Now, why do things vibrate with loud sounds? The answer to this is found at a molecular level. First of all, all substances have what is called natural frequency, or the frequency an object vibrates at naturally. Something else vibrating at the same frequency can force an object to vibrate at its natural frequency. This is called resonance. Resonance is a phenomenon that consists of a given system being driven by another vibrating system or by external forces to oscillate with greater amplitude at some preferential frequencies. Fun fact, the sound that you hear when you put your ear up to a seashell is not actually the ocean. It's actually the background noise of the room resonating inside the shell. So, through my research, I have come to a conclusion that the sound waves created by my car speakers are transferring their own energy into the molecules making up the vehicle. This causes the molecules to vibrate allowing you to actually feel the sound. Super random fun fact number two. When an aircraft passes through air, it creates pressure wave- waves in front and behind it. Though they are traveling at the speed of sound, the increasing speed of an aircraft forces them together and they are compressed, eventually forming a massive shock wave. This is why when an aircraft travels at Mach 1 or above the speed of sound, a sonic boom is produced. This demonstrates a very unique principle to sound called the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the apparent change in frequency of sound due to the motion of the source of sound. Wow, sound truly is phenomenal. So, next time you're cruising down the highway, jamming to some hot new Lady Gaga track, think of what I told you and how amazing the physics of the universe are. For more, check out my blog at domsradphysicsblog.blogspot.com.